Welcome back, guys. Trying to sneak Cotez into the shot. <laughs> Cotez. We're going to talk about the Inquisitorial Henchman Warband. Now, what a warband is, basically, is it's an Inquisitor of any type. And three units, or three, a unit of acolytes, which is three models. So, basic Inquisitorial Warband. You don't have to have any more than that. Everything else is zero to one. And if you do that, what you do is for the purpose of the warlord trait for the or for the, the Inquisitor, say it's Cody S, keeps his warlord trait even if he isn't your warlord. And for the purpose of the warlord trait, the Inquisitor is considered to be your warlord. I'm um, say if the thing your warlord and his unit or if your warlord is still alive, you know a lot of warlord traits say that. So he's considered to be the warlord be for the purposes of that trait. Um, I'm not for purposes of like warlord kills and other stuff. Let's move everybody over here. Come on guys, share the spotlight. Also, and also, it allows your Inquisitor to take, depending on his ordo, like uh, Cuteus here could take a Grey Knight Terminator squad. A Ordo Hereticus Inquisitor could take a Adeptus Sororitas Battle Sister squad, and an Inquisitorial Henchman Warband that has an Ordo Xenos Inquisitor can take a unit of Death Watch veterans, which is cool. So if you just wanted to get some Death Watch veterans in a, because um, uh, if they're bringing them with this, they can bring the uh, Corvus Black Star as their Dedicated transport from the Imperial Agents book. I don't believe they can bring any other transport. I'll just check real quick. The Death Watch. Yeah, Corvus Black Star is all that allows them from the Imperial Agents book here. But they have all their other choices that they can have. So you can bring a Death Watch veteran unit. You can add a Corvus for some air support. It's a good way to cheaply bring some some backup in the uh, either for the Grey Knights if you were making psychic heavy units, uh, the Battle Sisters or the Death Watch if you need some some muscle into the force. Now the thing about the Inquisitor Henchman Warband is it is extremely 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 customizable. You can make this warband specifically to do a job, and that's the best way to really use it. Because the units that can be in here is 0 to 1 Ministorum Priests, 0 to 1 Crusaders, and by that they mean units of Crusaders, 0 to 6 Daemon Hosts, so you could have 6 of those guys if you really wanted them, <laughs> 0 to 1 uh, uh, units of Arcoflagellants. 0 to 1 Death Cult Assassin Unit, so up to 10 of those guys as well. 0 to 1 Tech Priest Indusiers. 0 to 6 Jokero Weaponsmiths, so you can bring 6 monkeys. And 0 to 1 Astropaths. So as you see, you can take this and you can go, say, bring a, say, Codiaz or another Ordo Malleus Inquisitor. You can bring your basic 3 Acolytes if you wanted don't have to bring more. You bring 10 just base ones if you really wanted. But say 3 Acolytes. Then the Inquisitor are going to bring a Grey Knight Terminator squad for their Psychic Might. Then you can bring an Astropath to add a little bit more Psychic Might. And that little small force there can be like a little Psychic Fighting Bubble that you have. The Astropath and the Acolytes can stay back on an objective. The Inquisitor and his Terminator squad can be out there doing some of your work with the rest of your army. Or say you wanted to create a more close-in fighting unit. Get yourself a um, Ordo Hereticus or Ordo Xenos Inquisitor. And uh, Ordo Xenos would be nice because you can get yourself like um, Venom Talons, Needle Pistols, all that close combat cool stuff. Then uh, they can bring a Death Watch Veteran Squad. You can get those guys out for close combat. You can give them Storm Shields, Thunder Hammers, Heavy Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields. 
you could uh, throw a uh, black shield in there for some some oomph then you can have your three base acolytes or up to a unit of ten hold an objective somewhere bring a minestorm priest along with a squad of uh, from the regular squad throw in there uh, some crusaders and some death cult assassins or arco flagellants and let that squad go in there and do some uh, close in bashing with the uh, crusaders the death cult assassins and the priest you know you can bring just a few acolytes to bring it, use them as a blade of uh, body armor for the uh, more important models in the unit and have a nice close combat squad of uh, the warband and plus a close combat squad with the henchman and his death watch veterans that he's brought so two nice close combat units in your army Say so you want to go more shooty, okay, this is a little bit harder, but you can get an Adeptus Soretus Battle Squad with a uh, Ordo Hereticus Inquisitor. You can definitely make Adeptus Soretus a very shooty little force, tough shooty force. Um, bring in some Acolytes, give these uh, Acolytes, you can spend the, the minimal points to give them Bolters or Storm Bolters if you want. I would go with Bolters more likely. Maybe give them slightly better armor if you want. Throw a couple Crusaders in there if you don't, just to give them some decent saves up front. And then throw a Monkey in there with them, a Jakira Weaponsmith or two, so that they can get all the cool upgrades. All the cool upgrades, because most of those are shooting upgrades that they can have. And you got to turn yourself a nice shooting force of Inquisitor stuff, plus some Battle Sisters. So definitely a lot of ways to go with the Inquisitor what, Warband. What you do with it is really up to you and what you want your Inquisi Inquisitorial Force to do for your army. But in the basics of it, if you just spam this Inquisitorial Henchman Warband, depending on what rules you're going for, um, ITC you could only have three formations, so... Uh, but regular play, you could have as many as you want. You can just go Inquisitor, three Acolytes, Inquisitor, three Acolytes, Inquisitor, three Acolytes, and just load up on the Warlord traits. <laughs> and uh, just hope to get like Orbital Bombardments and other type of Warlord traits that really help your army. And you can do that three or four times and still have plenty of points left over for a nice sizable force of another army that you could ally in and just really buff yourself up with cool Warlord traits and stuff. So a lot of ways to use this. Alrighty guys, that's about all we have for Inquisition. The next thing I'll be talking about when I start doing those videos will be the Admech and Cult Mechanicus. Skitari and Cult Mechanicus, basically. Admech. Love those guys. Have my War Convocation. Uh, it does well in certain situations. In other situations, it can be crushed almightily. Oh, mightily crushed. But uh, that will be for another day. We'll do some other videos. I'm trying to assemble a lot of stuff. I'm going to do some painting on these uh, these little guys here. I love these guys. Up oh, near, there you go. Painting on some of that stuff. Waiting. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get some uh, new kits in. I'm going to get uh, some battle reports started. Robert and Dan are now kind of more settled with their stuff and they were talking about some uh, other guys that might want to do some battle reports and they're actually you know, pushing for battle reports. They're like, yeah, we should do some battle reports again. So, <laughs> so probably going to get some of those up for you and some other different types of videos as well. I really appreciate you guys' time and thank you very much for it. Um, if you would, could you just put a like there on the video if you liked it? Comment down in the comment section if you have anything to say. How about, how about you? How would you build your Inquisitor Henchman Warband? What would you use them for? I'd like to know. That'd be interesting. See what ideas other people have. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. That would be great. And hit that bell icon while you're at it so you can get updates when the videos come out. I have been trying to get mine out at 3 Central Standard Time every day. Doing my best. Other than that, I appreciate everything. If you could share my videos, that would really help. And I'll talk to you later.